In this video, I will show you how you can solve a first order linear difference equation. I will first show you the general form, show you the general solution by iterating it forward, and then apply it to a simple example, for which I will also draw you a simple graph, how it will look over time. So let's start with the general form of the equation. We will have y t plus 1 equals a times y t plus b. So we have some constant a and some constant b here, and y t plus 1 and y t are 2 is our variable of interest over time. Now, the system is homogeneous if b is 0, for which the solution becomes very easy. But we will immediately jump to the case where b is not 0, with the restriction that neither b nor a depend on time t. OK, so let's solve this equation by iterating it forward. We start with y1 is equal to a times y0 plus b. y2 is equal to a squared y0. Right? We plug this into here and we get b plus ab plus b times a plus 1. Now we can iterate it forward and forward and forward and yt equals a to the t by 0 plus b times a to the t minus 1 plus plus a plus 1. So a to the t minus 1 plus a to the t minus 2, etc., 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 until you have a and 1. But wait, this is a series, right? So this is a consecutive sum of some factor multiplied by a, a squared, etc. So we can rewrite that as a series, actually a geometric series, of the form 1 minus a to the t over 1 minus a. Okay. If you write it like that, we can collect all the terms of a to the power of t, which makes it a bit more convenient to read, and we get yt is equal to a to the power of t times y0 minus b minus b over 1 minus a plus b over 1 minus a. This immediately gives us a steady state. So if we start at this point, so our y0, our initial condition, is steady state here. This term will be 0, and it doesn't matter what factor this is, we will always stay at this point. And we can interpret this bracket term here as an initial deviation from the steady state. We can also immediately see that if this at is less than 1 in absolute terms, yt will converge to the steady state because a to the t will converge to 0, so we're left with the last term. And if a is larger than 1 in absolute terms, the thing will blow up to infinity because a to the t will go to infinity. Okay, now that we have this general formula, let's apply it to a very simple example. Let's say the case where 3yt plus 1 plus yt equals 15. If you look at this equation, you will notice, wait, something's multiplied by yt plus 1. So we need to first bring it in the appropriate form. The appropriate form of this equation is yt plus 1 equals minus 1 over 3yt plus 5. 15 divided by 3. Okay, so now we have this equation where we know that this term is A and this term is B. So we immediately can rewrite our solution y t is equal A to the t, so minus one third to the power t times some y0, which I will define later, 
minus b over 1 minus a, 5 over 1 minus minus 1 third, so that's 4 thirds, which we can rewrite, multiply 3 up, 15 over 4, plus this term again, 15 over 4. And we found our steady state, it's 15 over 4, for some initial deviation, y0. Let's assume now you're given an initial condition for this equation. And in particular, you're given initial condition y0 is equal to 7.5. Or let's rewrite it in a fraction, 15 over 2. Then you can rewrite this equation as 15 over 2 here, because we have a y0 with our initial deviation, but 15 divided by 2 minus 15 divided by 4 is simply 15 divided by 4. Then we can rewrite it a bit more neatly, times 15 over 4, plus 15 over 4. Now, this is the general solution with this initial condition. So let's draw this. So let's take this axis here, this is the t-axis, here is the steady state, 15 over 4. Our initial starting point is 15 over 2. And down here is 0. So if we draw it, we start up here. After one period, we get minus 1 third times 15 over 4, which is simply 5 over 4 sorry, minus 5 over 4, plus 15 over 4, which we can calculate as 5 over 2. So after one period, we'll be here. The next period, we cross the steady state again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again until it converges. Thank you for watching.